Straight Outta Compton is directed by F. Gary Gray and is about the formation of the group N.W.A. in the late 80s to early 90s, their impact on the music scene and everything that has happened since as a repercussion of their artistry and all the hardships that came along with the lifestyle they were leading as well as all the difficulties they had to try to make themselves actually be considered legitimate artists. And the main three members this movie mostly focuses on is Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, and Easy e Now if you don't know who these people are, they are extremely influential in their field. I grew up in this time period. I grew up in Akron, Ohio, and I would walk to school, and a lot of times I'd see people with boom boxes just walking around with their shoulders, those D-cell batteries powering those things, and blasting this type of music. So there was definitely some nostalgia, because I remember hearing those songs as a kid. Tons of people in my school would sing them, even though we weren't really allowed. <laughs> and I've always had a strange fascination with Ice Cube. Don't know why that is. He starred in such box office hits as Anaconda, Triple X, State of the Union, and Barbershop. And I might just have one of those. The first hour of this movie was extremely entertaining and really well paced. You'd see Ice Cube sitting on a bus, going to and from school, writing notes about lyrics that he wants to have in a song. You felt the desire there. You'd see Dr. Dre practicing, spinning on his table, and you just felt this intense passion they had for their art. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't like the last half of the movie as much, because as the band gets so bogged down in the money aspect of it all, the movie gets more dramatic, it gets more personal, but you lose that passion in their eyes, in their voice. You don't feel that heat they had for the music, and so some of the energy in the movie does dwindle. But as an overall film, I had a great time with Straight Outta Compton. Despite the fact the last half I didn't think was as good as the first half, it was still a consistent consistently entertaining movie, and one in which I was always curious to see where these characters were going to go. Ice Cube is played by the real-life Ice Cube's son, and he does a great job in the movie. He obviously looks exactly like him. He really surprised me, because I wasn't entirely sure how that was going to go. Like, imagine playing your dad in a movie. That'd be fucking weird. <laughs> but he did a great job. In fact, the entire cast did a really good job. Paul Giamatti, who I had no idea was in this movie, was also very good as their band manager, and he has some secrets of his own. It definitely glosses over and sometimes entirely skips real life events that you know took place with some of these people. And I can see why, because Ice Cube and Dr. Dre are both producers behind this movie, and I can kind of see them being like, hey, can you not put that one thing that happened? Because it would make us look really bad. It would have been nice to just have a little more honesty in the story, but it doesn't change the fact that the movie as a whole really works. It's really entertaining, it's well acted, the music and the soundtrack is great. There's also a timeliness to this movie that is unfortunately extremely apparent when you watch it, knowing some of the things going on in today's news. Straight Outta Compton is a very fun biopic, it has a great soundtrack, good performances, and despite the fact that the last half doesn't really have the same brisk energy as the first half, it's still a very well made film, and I think it's one of F. Gary Gray's best. I'm going to give Straight Outta Compton a B plus. So guys, what are your thoughts on this movie? What other biopics would you like to see? Fingers crossed for MC Hammer or Vanilla Ice. I'm kidding, by the way. <laughs> guys, thank you so much as always for watching, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuck manized. <laughs>